Welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, we'll be looking at Rank IQ keyword research. We're not going to be doing the optimization or pulling reports or anything like that. I wanted to make a quick video to just focus on the amazing things that you can do with Rank IQ just from a, a keyword research standpoint. Now, if you've been following me in my last few videos, I think I've done three videos that I've shown a lot of Rank IQ. I'm doing a series, so just expect a couple more videos around Rank IQ and then I'll stop. I'll be showing you guys a different tool after that and so forth. But I really wanted to create a series of videos around Rank IQ because this is one of the best SEO tools that you can get your hands on right now. And it is outranking. If we come over here to <clears throat> If we come over here to G2, you'll be able to see all the top tools in the world for SEO. Rank IQ has held the top spot for like the last year. They're down right here, 4.9 out of five stars, 340. It's ranked number one and easiest to use. So if you're looking at the easiest tool to use, it'll just get you that has a be better price than what you're gonna get with like Ahrefs, SEMrush, that start at $100 and go up from there. You're gonna get much more out of this tool and it's gonna just, it, there's hardly any learning curve and you're just gonna go be able to start blogging with this tool. So this is Rank IQ. You can come back in here and we're gonna look at keyword research, right? So you're gonna go over here to the keyword library and there's a couple different ways to do keyword research in this tool, okay? So one of the ways is that you can just go and go to the niche dropdown and then just find your niche. You should be able to find your niche in here. They have hundreds of niches now at this point. <clears throat> And let's just go in one of the most competitive niches that you could go into and let's go into blogging and just see what they have. So you can pull up blogging and it's going to have all kinds of keywords right here that you're gonna be able to check out. And there's eight pages, I believe there's like 50 on each page or something like that. So you're looking at like thousands of keywords right here that you know, people are saying not to go into blogging. Don't do blog, choose blogging because it is highly competitive. Com competitive, I don't know what I just said. Highly competitive. And, but there are still several keywords that you can go for. Now, another thing that you can do is you can include or exclude what you're looking at. You can go with the competition is that, let's just say I want to look at the max, max competition. If my domain authority is like a, around a, a 20 or so, you're just going to say 20 on the competition right here. You can go with visits per year, but then I also want to, I'm going to kind of skip that. I don't really care too much about that when I'm starting off. And I want to go from, I just want to look at fast to ultra fast. <clears throat> and then we're going to apply the filters. So that's going to find really, really good keywords for us all put out on this page right here. And this is constantly updated as well. So what I would do is I would copy these keywords and this is kind of a little trick guys. You can obviously come in here and add these keywords. <clears throat> you can add them to your selected library and you can just use this tool to, to manage all of your projects and your keywords in here. So like, for example, if we added these, right, we add these to the keyword library, keywords were added successfully, then we can go over here to, and I'll show you that, they'll end up in there, and, you, and then you can check them off after you create the content <clears throat> or run the report. You can actually, there'll be a check mark box. I'll show you that in a minute, but there's another really cool way if you're really trying to, you know, let's say you're starting a site and you want to build out the site, you want to do a bunch of content, <clears throat> and obviously... Let's say you want to use all these keywords and you're not going to have enough reports inside Rank IQ to do all the optimization in here. One of my tricks is, is you can just take these keywords right here. You can copy these keywords into a Google sheet, spreadsheet or a, an Excel file. I'm going to right click and just paste the content itself. Okay. And so once it pastes, now you have all these keywords on that page. And then you're just going to go to the next page, the next page, the next page, paste underneath here. And now you've got this giant Excel file. You have all the information you need and it's all right here. You can just, and you can just put right here published and then just start creating this content. Right. And then when you're done publishing and then you just keep doing that. So the, all these keywords right here, you know, if we take one, how to get your Squarespace website. We can come over here into Uber Suggest, and I'm just going to go into Keyword Overview, paste that in, and we can come in here and you're going to see that there's an SEO difficulty score of 24. Now this is, this is huge because look at this, the cost per click is $21. This is a very extremely monetizable, valuable keyword that even, you know, advertisers are paying a lot of money for this keyword right here. 
it's competitive, but the it's relatively low SEO competition score to go after that. Okay, so that is a why these keywords are so good because if we like, for example, right here, this actually gets traffic, guys. We can copy this and come back over here and we can paste that in to Uber Suggest. And so this one's saying it's a 49, but generally speaking, there's a different algorithm with Rank IQ, and they're going to go in here and look at what's actually ranking for that top spot or the top 10 spots and generally it's going to be much easier because of rank iq's algorithm they're going to actually be able to break through some of these other tools that are just on the surface they're just measuring backlinks and domain authority and so you're going to have much more of a chance to rank for several of these keywords and so we found one right here so that's a really good way to go into a niche and let's just say like right over here soap making or Arts and crafts, journaling right here. And look at all the different keywords you're gonna get right here. How to draw banners for a bullet journal. I do like to go and see what these other tools are saying about the keyword, but it doesn't stop me from creating the content. So this is relatively easy right here as well. And so most of the time you're going to win with these keywords that this tool is pulling. So it's already doing your keyword research for you. Just focus on a niche and do all the keywords for that niche right there and then you can expand into something else on your site that's kind of like another parent category and then just find it in here and then continue and then just go and dominate that other category right so that's one way to do it another way to do it is to come back up i'm just going to go to reset this a little bit so this is what it looks like you've got you know millions of keywords actually in here but what you're going to do is you can actually come in here a lot of times what i like to do for example is inside of include right here if i just say money it's going to go out and find any keyword that has money in it at all so right there's still there's a lot of pages we can also say make money and then it's going to only show me stuff like best blogging sites to make money best nft games to make money can international students make money from youtube right so that could be a good a keyword go test that in uber suggest see what it says it does say it's an seo difficulty of 55 so you have to just kind of know what you're looking for and then also go and i like to go in here and i'll do the drop down right here and just see what the top results look like for that keyword right so this is where if it's telling us that, that it's a 55 in my opinion it's really not because look right look right here six there's answers visa and that's why this ended up this is a perfect example guys this is just an answer site they just do a quick answer of the question it's a mass answer site so it actually is not going to be topically relevant to your make money online or finance site so you're going to have more topical relevancy more knowledge graph and so you're going to be able to completely take out that keyword right there or this ranking site they only have a six domain authority they have no backlinks you can easily beat this site right here you can beat a 19 a da of 19 you can beat a da of 17. so that's why i don't like that this tool over here says that this is a 55 you probably would stay away from it but in reality it's you actually have a really good chance of getting on page one and that's a perfect example of why rank iq has an algorithm and they know that you actually have a better chance to get on this site. So, so what, that is where Rank IQ shines. The keywords that you normally would skip in here, you would just skip them. You would actually put a filter on this and look for easy keywords, and you would never go after any of these keywords right here, when in reality, you're missing out on like 80% of the keywords that you could go for, but you're intimidated by because of the, because of what these tools are telling you. Well, Rank IQ goes in and has a really special algorithm and it finds out that if there is a little small sites like that ranking, it's going to basically, it, it knows that if you do a targeted post on this, you can easily rank for this. So that's what's really cool about the keyword research with Rank IQ. That's another thing that I do is I just, you know, I'll, I'll type in something right here maybe i'll type in youtube if that's a category on my site and you're going to see all these different pages that i mean you can build a site just talking about youtube or something right and look at all these different pages it's like 19 times 50 just for the word youtube it's like i think it's 50 times 19 so you've got a thousand keywords right here just on um, typing in youtube that you could go after right so they basically do the keywords so like right here let's read this real quick these are the lowest 
I'm going to read this for you guys. So these are the lowest competition keyword phrases for all blog niches with the highest traffic potential. They are handpicked by our founder, who is one of the top keyword research pros in the world. After that, we run them through our algorithms, like I said, uh, to identify the keywords that are even a low authority blog can rank for. Every keyword is ready to add to your blog planner and run through our AI. The lower the competition score, the easier it is to rank. Choose a niche from the drop down menu to see the top keywords for that niche. So, like I said, the, the first way is grab your niche and go and see what they have in there. The second way is to just search by keyword and you might cross over and find other, you know, YouTube could be a part of different niches inside of here. So you would miss out on keywords if you don't also go in here and search as well. So that's how I use the keyword research. I've done this several times and then I'll also, like I said, build up a list over here and then I'll just work off that list or you can go and hire writers to go and write all that content for you. And so, like I said, at the end of the day, there's so many things that you can do in here. We go into the My Keyword Research. We added these ones earlier, right? Once you run the report and you're done, then you can just, there'll be a, a, a tick box right here. And then when you're done with something, like right over here, already did that one, you can actually really fully manage all this because you can click that. You can actually, down, once you manually add all those, you can download these keywords as well. So it does give you that feature, but you're still going to have to manually add all those and so forth. And then finally, when you run the report and it's going to change to a check mark that you've already done that, right? And then like right over here, you can click this, the ones that you've already done. So I'm going to click these and then you can just go remove keywords, removed successfully. It's going to remove those, or you can go to reports over here. And if you've already done one right over here, you can actually click this and then you can archive that report and then it gets rid over here. So on this dashboard right here, you're only working on the keywords that you are actively writing content for. So you can fully or organize this, manage it and make sure it's nice and clean inside of Rank IQ, which is really, really an awesome way to manage your stuff. If you also like to work off of spreadsheets like this and just build a column that says you've published it, you've done this, you've done that, that is a, a an option as well. Okay, so that is Rank IQ. That's how I use it for keyword research. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. I'll be doing a couple more Rank IQ videos for you guys, and then we'll be moving on to more tutorials on how to make money online, other software reviews, all kinds of good stuff down the pipeline on Teach Me Money Methods. I'll see you in the next video.